Back to the show. Please welcome back to the show, comedian Sam Morell. What's up, Sam? Hey, how are you? What's going on, buddy? I was I'm enjoying that. I was enjoying the A-Rod oh, yeah. comeback. That was A-Rod. pathetic. A-Rod's yeah. one for three. Well, again, he hit the ball not bad twice, but the, the when he hit it the uh, lousy, he got the hit. Yeah. But it, you know, again, he should be over three. He, he's he still the ball. Look, he still looks hurt. But what John said is is the pathetic truth. He's going to get suspended. Yeah. The Yanks won't pay him for a year and a half, but there's five years left on a deal. He'll come back, I mean, and get paid the worst seventy million dollars ever. It's insane. Yeah, it is. It really you is. You know, uh, he should. He should. They should find him. They should just not give him the contract. Well, I mean, you know, the, the baseball did have the ability to f- ban him for life, which means the Yanks would have been, got, got out of pay him for life. But right. The union's too strong for that. I I think uh, selling. Uh, uh, was afraid the, the union would really get mad at well, that. Well, now the union's saying that he acted out of order, giving him 211. Yeah. And the other teams want the Yankees to pay him. Oh, yeah. They of want course. the Yankees to Because he sucks. Yes. And, of and course. And it, it hurts the Yankees. Of course it does, yeah. Everybody's anti-Yankee. Or two. You got you to you always put that into the, the mix. You know, Everybody hates the Yankees. And this is a little bit off topic, but watching him swing the bat, yeah. It makes me think about the fact that he's had two hip surgeries. And two correct? knee surgeries. Okay, so his power is coming from his legs. And when you're swinging a bat, when, you, when you're when you basically turning your hips first, right. making the torque, yeah. you know, to w- on the follow-through, I mean, that's all hips. Right. No matter how you rehab, we were talking about this before the show, when you open up a joint and you mess with it, it's just screwed up forever. Right. So now he's got two hips that don't work, that he can't open them up the way he used to. The knees, he's not generating power like he no, used he's not to. Gonna need, he's not going to need to use them. now he can't use drugs. He's not going to need to use them. He's, you know why? Because, because he's going to get money anyway. Right, because the rest of his life is going to be just letting Cameron Diaz get on top. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Mm-hmm. That was so pathetic in the interview, too, where they were they were just asking him, did you do it? You can say if you no, did it. No, and he goes, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get that. We'll get Clear, that. I mean, an innocent man goes, no, I did not do it. Yeah. This is horrible. Right. And, and, yeah, and they were like, he's like, we'll get to that. And they're like, well, now is the time to right. say it. Now is- and, and the thing about, I hate about A-Rod, too, is, and he's done this his whole life, too. He ends interviews when he wants to end them. And, yeah. and he's uh-huh. not smooth at it. He goes, I think I'm going to hang up now. Like, he, done, he did, did that with Francesa last week. He just yeah, goes, yeah. I think I'm going to jump off the call now. Like, I got to go do something. What do you have to do, A-Rod? You do nothing. You do nothing. What are you going to do? Bang Kate Hudson? Well, I'm sure he has uh, some sort of person watching over him, sitting right next to him, who's going like, stop. Yeah. No, of, end of course. It, end it. You're talking like an idiot again. Right. He's just not a He's leader. Like, you saw the second caretaker. Jeter came back in, that one first game he played where he got hurt again. Yeah. It's like the team rallied around yeah, him. Yeah, nobody cares. No one yeah, look at the team around. rally. <laughs> yeah, 7 0. <zero. laughs> <laughs> and it is a pathetic game. <laughs> Cano, Cano literally skipped like Pippi Longstocking around, the, around well, first twice. base. We just saw him do it again. On, he could have he legged that out and maybe got a single. Yeah, he's not a hustler. Well, here's the thing. Like, why hustle? I, I think this team got together and they said, hey, you know what? Let's let's do it not for A-Rod, but... So it's the direct opposite despite. of the Gipper? Let's yeah. Not do, In, let's, let's not, not win one. do it for A-Rod. <laughs> let's not win one for Rod. Yeah. He's going to be remembered as such a disappointment as a Yankee. It's crazy. Well, he's going to be remembered as such a disappointment as a player now. Yeah. You know, I mean, be, as great as he was with uh, the Mariners... And Texas, he's gonna. It's, it's all tainted now. Yeah, the, his entire existence is negative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking like guys like Mickey Mantle, these guys like you, like they they have like performance debilitating drugs. Like they get Booze. hammered before a game. Booze, yeah. And then and these guys, I, I relate more to like that underachieving baseball player. Oh, definitely. Know? Well, Babe Ruth. Yeah, yeah. Babe Ruth, you know, with eight hot dogs and uh, fourteen <laughs> beers and yeah. you know whiskey. <laughs> yeah. And he would like Babe Ruth supposedly would find a cigar on the locker room floor and pick it up and smoke it. <laughs> He was kind of a, a well, white trash douchebag, let's say. <laughs> but uh, David Wells. guy went out and just would hit. Yeah. Guy would hit. Yeah. But, you know, I, again, you know, it's, it's, it's a very surreal day for baseball because, you know, uh, at 3 p.m. Eastern time, he gets hit with a 211-game suspension. <laughs> at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time, he batted fourth for the Yankees. It's a circus. It, it doesn't yeah. make sense. It's great. Yeah, well, uh, all of the sports media descended on... Uh, and whatever, what's it called now, Danny? Cellular, one cellular park. Is it the same spot where Comiskey was? Right across the street. So, okay. And that's on the south side of Chicago. Yeah. 
Well, hopefully someone will mug him. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you also didn't go on the team bus. He got yeah. a huge caddy limousine. No, and that way. doesn't help no you. Way. Did you see what? Yeah, th that doesn't help. Right? You were you Why? were a team sport player. I, can, I can't even believe it. He gets that. out. And he gets dumb. out in a custom suit. Walks into an, a, a limousine, a Cadillac limousine. Doesn't get on the team bus. He wasn't at the team hotel either. You know what hotel he was at? Did he stay at Trump? Yes. Oh, Why he, is yeah. this? Now, now, did he provide there. a reason? Amazing I mean, is, it, it, was he unable to stay with the team for something? Well, maybe like, the media thing is what the... they were concerned about. Right. But he never seemed to. I know for a fact, my, one of my favorite hotels in the country is the Rich Carlton in Boston. And I know when they, they play the Red Sox, that's where A-Rod stays. And uh, the, other, the rest of the team don't stay at the Rich Carlton. That's got to be a pain in the ass, too. Why not just be one of the dudes? That's Why not what just, I mean. It's ridiculous. I right? know. Yeah, he just the way when they I remember the Yankees signed him. It's like before Twitter, so I found out I just walked by a bar on Second Avenue and right. they had that sign. I said Yankees got a rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I wasn't even happy. No, I never even. I never. Are liked you a him. lifelong Yankee fan? Yeah, yeah. See, I am too, and I wasn't happy either. I just never liked. Him. I wasn't happy when they got Clemens. I was like, I, we we got rid of David Wells for Clemens. Yeah. We just came off the '98. Well, season. Wells was like an old school guy, That's and what Clemens I mean. was a new school guy. And, was... and, and 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 Wells pitched a perfect game during that '98 season. That was 114 wins. We really got to go get Clemens. Clemens yeah. to deal with his crap. Yeah, they're distractions. They're bad. They're yeah. just bad for the team. And now Clemens might not ever go in the Hall of Fame. Isn't that crazy? Bonds, Clemens, A-Rod. He's like <laughs> the best guys of our time. Well, we pulled uh, the A-Rod stats. Uh, 96, his first full year with the Mariners. If he wasn't doing roids then, and again, he says he wasn't, but who can believe him? Yeah, if he wasn't doing roids then, he his stats were insane. He, had, yeah. he batted 350 with 36 home runs. It's insane. So was like, what, knew, 21 or something? He was, he was 20 years old. That's insane. I think he was 20. Oh, man. Yeah. Nice. And, he was a, and he was a twig, yeah. too. Not that that means anything. He was skinny. But, but so was uh, Barry Bonds. And so Ryan Braun, is, he's not that big. and he's yeah. and Barry he's, Bonds was real skinny, though. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Bonds was little. Br Braun's swing, you know, yeah. for he's Beautiful. such a jerk. But yeah. I, he's, I think he's got the prettiest well, swing he's a great baseball. player. And he stole 400, over 400 bases. No, no. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You know? What do you he's like? Got Not refuse. Well, you know what he does? You know what Braun does? It's interesting when you watch him swing. He does that thing where he keeps his arms straight all the time. Like when he uh, extends, even a pitch on the inside, he goes like this. And he keep, he doesn't do the bend ever. He's like this all the time. And right. it, makes yeah. it, it makes it look prettier. It's, That's the way he hits, though. Yeah, no it's wrist. consistent. It's all like this. It's smooth. It's graceful. And Why don't you marry him? He's a jerk. <laughs> I love to give people a good time. <laughs> you are, you're like Scott Thorson. I know. Exactly. To, his, to Ryan Braun's Liberace. What do you got coming up, Sam? You, you I'm at Caroline's tomorrow night. Yeah, Caroline? Yeah, 7.30. That's cool. Yeah, should be good. Tomorrow, Joe DeRose is getting roasted. At I know. I got are you going? Text. Well, he called me out because he said I'm one of the more reliable drinkers. <laughs> so he got, he always finds a way to guilt you, you know? Yeah. But, uh, DeRose, I want to show up. So. Well, he gave me a text. To, he said they're starting at 10 with the roast, and then they're going to have a birthday party for him. So he said at 1 a.m., It'll still be going strong. I might go over. Yeah, there. I think I'm gonna pop in. Are you? Yeah. See, I'm I'm a reliable non-drinker now. <laughs> but uh, but that's good. That's good. Bro. Maybe I'll go just to insult them. Yeah, definitely. Are you gonna do the roast? I'm no, because I got the show, so I can't oh, do okay. the roast. Well, but... the roast will be done by then. Doing roasts at comedy clubs too. I used to do some of them at the little comedy clubs. We try to roast each other, you know, pretend we were in show business. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and they can get awkward. There's no, oh, there's, yeah. no there's no real estate. You, you shit on like one of the newer guys a little too hard, and they're just. I you know, know, and it ruins a form. It ruins it. <laughs> it's like it ruins you know, the potential. Dude, friendship. calm down. I'm an open mic. <laughs> 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 I'd uh, we'll take a quick break. We'll come back with Samaro. Right.